It's the oh. witch. Oh, there she is. She's doing with her hands. Some kind of you just studied it. Perhaps. Yeah. Let's see what she's doing. What a horrible old witch. She seems ready to keel over any second, but it could be fatal to underestimate her. Talk to the witch. What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, our prince has finally arrived. Uh -huh. Now okay. we can begin our ritual. Why do you call me a prince? Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen? Her <laughs> prince charming? Calling him at her on I his bullshit. I need yep. to gain her trust, to break down her defenses. It's a part you played many times in the real world. What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice, a trade, Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. Mm. Oh, so sacrificing her for, to save your own skin. Yes. What's this about a gate? The gate is a passage into the surface world. It is the only way out of this place. What's supposed to be my role in this ritual? I need you to destroy Ellen's mirror. She has been using it to keep me away from her. Uh -huh. I want you to break it so that I can complete what I have started. So you just want me to break the mirror? It is not that simple. The mirror holds great power. It can be broken only within the magic circle. Mm -hmm. Why can't you destroy the mirror yourself? I am aging rapidly, and despite my powers, I am a slave to vanity. I can't bring mm -hmm. myself to look into the I, Ted, am not. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Where is Ellen's mirror? It is on her dressing table. I looked on Ellen's dressing table. The mirror's not there. You must find that mirror. It has great must magical be, must be properties. Invisible. Okay, I'm sure I might have now. I think we're looking somewhere, I can't find it, and then your mother comes along and says, it's right there, and just pulls it out of the <laughs> air. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> Why can't you open the gate without the mirror? There are others who have an interest in Ellen's fate. Yeah, the mirror devil and angel. the only yeah. way to keep meddlers from interfering. What if I can't find the mirror? Then go to the devil! Whoa. Harshman. What's in it for me if I help you? An opportunity to escape Anne's tortures forever. I will never help you. Perhaps this is, there is something else I can do for you instead. Let me think about your offer, or... I ought to kill you. Instead. Oh, do we fancy ourselves the avenging knight? My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Be gone! Aha! Uh -huh. I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen, and I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish <clears throat> mortal! You don't have the ability to use the spell properly. Now, do you remember it? God, no. Kala Igma Thako. Oh, don't I? Kala Bright Green Igma Thako. Oh, I suddenly feel so, so sleepy. And there you go. She is asleep. I'm angry that worked. Yeah, I know, right? But bear in mind, like this is a story that Am is writing for Ted. So this is supposed to be, it's almost like a pantomime. Now, let's use the chalk. On the circle. Why do you have to finish the circle? Now I'm stuck here until we work out a trick. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the bright green! <laughs> God, his ego. Opener of locks. Am and I are brothers. More or less. Okay. Are you saying that you are another Am? It would be more accurate to say that I am a part of him. A part that he doesn't know exists. A subroutine. Oh, what kind of locks now, can you open? Am, by the way, is basically the AI that won the war. Doors to a boudoir. Doors this was like, uh, this is when it was written in the mid 60s by Harlan Ellison originally. And basically, it was in the kind of the, obviously the culture of the Cold War. So he's basically, what was the exponential growth of that? Which is AIs control, controlled the US, the Soviet Union, and China. Those are the three superpowers that had an AI. Of course, if one had gets against one of these things, everyone's gonna want one. Precisely, and AI AM being Allied uh, Manufacturing, I think it was, or um, Master uh, Allied Master Computers was the US 
won and the US one won but of course it didn't want to end there it took over the world and stayed humanity and killed everyone and sure what what are the computers with more processing power yeah and like I said like it's that's what's kind of like fascinating because like Harold Nelson is now probably looking at like all the stuff like the the AI and the machine learning and all these other like kind of scripts going on and thinking I was fucking right I was fucking right he's famously technophobic he writes all of his stories on typewriters one specific type type of typewriter he doesn't trust anything else and he is literally the only person who buys his typewriter in the world. Okay. Yeah, no, genuine. He's genuinely technophobic, which is somehow hilarious that he actually like, provided his gay his voice to a video game inherently technological. If you give me something in return. Okay. Now, can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? Is what we're looking for here, isn't it? Maybe. Yeah. Like those we, because we don't want the surface world yet. We have locked, we have blocked the castle door, so we're okay there. Yeah. So. Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy, but this planar travel has sapped my energy. Give me something juicy to revitalize me, blood. and I'll perform your little parlor trick. There you go. My blood is all over this glass. Give him the glass. That's much better. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? Can you unlock the Break green! It is done. A trivial little task. One not even requiring any pyrotechnics. The maid's boudoir is now open for your inspection. Okay. I don't believe you can unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. Well then, why don't you go down to the kitchen and see for yourself? Okay, and away we will. Yeah, okay. Although I'm gonna save here because remember, you know, the soul is trapped here unless you close the circle. So let's go. Yep. I presume Sir Gotham's just gonna be there until we close the circle. So to the dwarf, probably until the, until the end of the level, basically. Ooh, the maid's gone. Yeah, suspiciously so. Isn't that? Isn't it just? That's a fancy fucking painting. It is. Look who it is, though. That's the devil. Holding a mirror. Holding a mirror. The devil's looking into a hand mirror. Mm hmm. How quaint. A hope chest. I'll bet that maid is eternally hopeful. They hope all chest? want their knight yeah. in shining armor. Can I open it? These things would only interest a peasant. Besides, Ouch. I don't want to get caught stealing. Now we look at, there's the other mirror. Hmm. This is so cracked, I can barely see myself. Okay, so essentially we know that the devil has the, yeah. has the, uh, yeah. the hand mirror, so. He blatantly does. Yeah. We saw it in the painting, therefore it must be true. He... <sighs> Is it to keep things away? If he has it, then that what would he do to keep the angel away? Or I guess not. Yeah, here's the angel. <laughs> well, here let's have the angel first then. Or actually, where do we go for first, angel or devil? What would you rather? I mean, it, I guess the devil. Fuck it, why not? We know he's got the mirror. Okay. I've seen the tapestry in the maid's bedroom, and I think you do know where Ellen's mirror is. Oh, all right. I know where it is. Get off my fucking back. I hid it before the angel showed up. I didn't want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. Hey. Where is Ellen's mirror? I hid it someplace good. Someplace where an angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? Okay. That's a clue. An angel. Somewhere an angel would never go. In the meantime, let's talk to the angel. While Paul stews upon that hidden riddle. Hmm. Do not fear me. I am an agent of the Lord. Oh no! <coughs> what do you want? Ellen has suffered Yay, much. Yay, may I be, may I be. Oh, no. nice. I have come to guide her soul to heaven. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. If I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. <laughs> 
Don't call me that. Why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in this sphere. They repel some and attract others. You sure it's not a magnet? Hmm. What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Her fate now rests on your shoulders. <laughs> what She's fucked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Oh no. <laughs> sure God, I've heard about. Avoid the demon. He has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. Please. Uh, too save late, us. my dude. Yeah, we're good. Fear not. Salvation is at hand. Is it though? Is it? Okay. So where could where could the mirror be? Um. Let's see. Behind closed doors at church. Because the the, the stacking. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So it's not there. Yeah. Um. Go oh, behind the ch the church. Steeple things. Um. Oh jeez. Okay. Damn it. My, my thoughts immediately stray to. Uh. In fairness, okay. we are we, we are down to limited options. Like it's hardly going to be in a kitchen. It has to be something more symbolic, shouldn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> so the well, angel probably wouldn't look in the chapel. Yeah, let's try the chapel. Because, like, you know, the obvious place to for to like. I don't think I want to know what kind. I of I think it is the kind of place where the angel wouldn't even think to look. Maybe let's uh, maybe see if it's in the summoning circle. I mean, yeah. Like, as you all know, um, uh, God does not look too closely behind the sealed doors in his churches. Fair point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he tends to look away for that. Okay, wasn't there. Um, and the only two other options left to us then would be, well, the kitchen. The kitchen, the servant's door, the... Which you've been already. The um, Lord's room and the witch's room. Okay. The scullery maid was right. This is a very cozy bed. Okay, but no mirror. Yeah. Uh, um. Then they're all just after these two rooms. Then. The Lord's room and the ladies' room. Okay. Which. Okay, and the only thing around are the books. So let's yeah. look at the books. Nothing. Do you want comedy? There's a hand mirror right between oh. and Purgatorio section. Fuck's sake. That was the genuine this guess. Is where the devil hit it. God damn it. Okay. Okay. So now we have the mirror. Yeah. Go back. And okay. We found the mirror. We uh, have in fact found the mirror. We have in fact found the mirror. And uh, now to go and fuck with things. Yeah, we're gonna give it to Ellen. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. I found your mirror, Ellen. Then show it to me. Let me see my face one last time. Oh, I look so tired and empty. It's time to sleep. Oh. She is dead. God have mercy on her soul. Not so fast there, golden boy. Her soul is mine. I've waited longer. But Ellen suffered so much and gave to many. She deserves salvation. Listen to me, you feathered propaganda machine. i <laughs> <laughs> before you take this soul anywhere. I'm waiting until I get it. You forget that patience is a virtue. I will wait until yours runs out. So, we have a, a deadlock here, right? Yeah. So, we love Ellen. We want her to go to heaven, right? Yeah. Use a mirror on the devil. My, I am gorgeous. Why, I could just plunge right into myself. Whoop! Ellen is now safely in heaven. My there you go. Here yep. Is ended, but and I maximum green. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm circle. God bless you. And that's how we end the level. She's dead. At least she's finally found peace. 
There we go. I'm the devil's in the hell. <laughs> the little devil, the iconic yeah. devil, is just like, ah, goddamn, no, go on, damn, go on, get him, get him, goddamn it. So, we put them in the circle and we, that traps them, I guess? Yeah. And that's, yeah, exactly. We're just gonna put the devil, use a, de use a mirror on the circle. What happened? How did I get trapped with this demon? And look, maximum health! We're now white! <laughs> company, Got Sir God. That. that was damn stupid, human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. Who do you think is responsible for that? Why Am's responsible for our suffering? Not just Am. He's clever. But he doesn't do much original thinking. He works best with outside research. Research that one of your party carried out. Ooh. You're ruining everything. Shut up. You shut up. One word to the boss and your little game's over before you can say, holy Moses. I should strangle you now and save Am the trouble. Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon. I'm the established character. You're not even supposed to be <laughs> here. When this sequence ends, somebody will be expunged. Human, dead. Let me out of this circle. In return, I will open the gate to the surface world. I'm part of the big machine. I can do this. Let me out before this pompous oaf bores me to death. Open the gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my... It's not a Faustian bargain, you see. Huh. You <laughs> I never promised you paradise. This is actually how, how Earth looks now after the Yeesh. Enough of this turgid passion play. There is no more to come. This here. Okay. That's <laughs> too bad, Ted. <laughs> Writhe in sweet agony. The knowledge the surface world is no longer habitable to your country. Yep. Oh, Nuclear dear. annihilation. God damn. That's why Amber's now on the ground. Who among you shall go next? Now you'll notice Ted is gone because we have now officially finished his part. Okay. So that is Ted's level done. So basically the whole point is that you want to try and get you're trying to clear these five levels, okay? Get these people to the end of their level, but also with as much health as possible because that's what you'll need for the end game. Yeah. You see. Um, and it's also a key thing as well that like, now this will only become more apparent in the end game where we have to like decide who goes first, who does this section, all these are different things. But for now, it's, as as far as this sounds, this is almost like the chase. You have to get all the players at the end first and then try and get the money. <laughs> yeah. This is essentially what we're doing here. So we're trying to get all the players like on top level first and then continuing on. So Paul, now that Ted is done, and he has saved him. He is he has saved the day. Hmm. Where would you go next? We have Garister, Ellen, Benny, or Nimdok. Uh, let's go to the guy in the middle, the the, the animal looking fucker. Benny. Benny, you know you've always been my favorite torture tool. Well, I'm giving you now a chance to stoop to new lows, to give in to your bestial desires. I'm going to let you find some food to eat. I'll even repair your brain so that you can think normally again and savor the horror of your repast. This cavern isn't like any of the others Am has sent me to. It's full of life, not death. Okay. Huh. Oof. Am, you son of a bitch. You've cleared my mind but crippled my legs. I can barely walk. To this many. So, while we start this level, I'll give you a brief rundown of who Benny is. Benny was previously, in a past life, a genius and handsome scientist. Yeah. Um, however, he has been mutilated and transformed into Am, um, so he has a, he's basically a grotesque primate um, with giant or sexual organs. Mm. Right? Um, so Benny, at some point, then he loses, he, so sometimes he loses his sanity, sometimes he loses his limbs, all these different things, and he has like kind of a... A childlike temperament. This is in the novels more so. Mm. And Benny, they go in a slightly different direction here. 
Um, now, the one key thing as well is that Am corrects his homosexuality in the novel, in the short story. So then he suddenly like starts having like sex with Ellen pretty much all the time. This is the further torment Ellen, to be clear. Mm. But in order to do that, like Benny, when in his past life, was a gay man, and Am basically um, did gay correction therapy on him Eesh. to do that. So Benny is also has a bit of a backstory in terms of like what he's done. Um, he was also a. Um, this is actually where the game takes more advantage of what Pooh Benny was, as opposed to the novel mm. expanding on who he is. So this is his level, basically, kind of expanding all this other sort of stuff. In the short story, Benny is the one. Um, Benny's blind, blinded. He can't see anything. He's, his eyes are gouged up by Am early. Um, he goes completely insane. And when you mentioned the story about uh, when they were trying to find canned food, they have no, they can't find a can opener, and he starts eating Gorister. And then he kills Ted. He, Ted then has to kill him with a nice spear. So, Ted, of course, like this again, sort of serves him for Ted's like, kind of like vanity as well, being the hero that saves everybody. But Gorister is killed by Benny in the end. Um, but, uh, yeah, he, we were going to find out uh, more in the game now about Benny. Uh, and we'll see how this plays out. So, let's have a look around. So, what do we have here? We have some trees. This looks like a tree from far away, but it's just more of that computer-generated crap. Hence the kind uh, of gigerish art, I suppose. Let's see what's there. We have a pad. This graveyard gives me the creeps. Ooh. I feel as though the dead could speak. Let's see. This is the grave of Murphy, one of my old commandos, killed in the war. This is Tuttle's grave. He lost his life while under my command. Thomas is buried here. I'd almost forgotten my life in the army before Am came to power. Yeah. Hmm. And he says the death could speak? I guess I haven't given you any reason to speak to me after what I did to you. Oh. Are the other graves as deathly silent as this one? Are the other graves as... Okay. Alright, so we know there's three graves there. Oh, there's caves. Hello. Didn't even notice them. Oh, to caves. Yeah. Is that fire in those caves along the cavern wall? God, what I would give for some barbecued ribs. So one key thing in this uh, for uh, for uh, Benny is that he is perpetually hungry. Mm. Because, of course, he now has this kind of animalistic kind of quality now. He's just constantly eating. And that's where, like, obviously in the short story... When they end up failing to get canned food, just the actual hunger, our hungerous rage just develops and he eats Garister instead. I haven't eaten for months. There we the go. The smell of food cooking nearby only makes it hurt worse. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So then, let's see, let's go into the cave, shall we? Yeah. What type of luck? Smart one! I can't figure out what I want to do with this. So much for the friggin' welcome wagon. Impressive. Someone important must live here. Hmm. Okay. The now they're here. This old fart looks too scrawny to be gathering nuts and berries. He must be the village elder or something. It's a video screen. There's a video screen built huh. into the cave wall. And you can have a guess, that's Am. Yeah. A bag. Maybe there's food in it. I can barely carry myself. Push the bag. Forget it. Too painful. I can't figure out what I want to do with this. Swallow the bike. I'm not that hungry. What? <laughs> Talk to the elder. Wita fuma piba. I can't understand his language, but he seems to be welcoming me to the village. Okay. Wita fuma. I can't understand his language. Oh yeah. Actually, I forgot to look at site profile. Oh yes. Cultural reference. Cannibalism has been practiced by a number of cultures throughout human history, usually to denigrate enemies or to acquire the qualities of victims. Well, that's creepy. However, modern culture is considered this practice to be deplorable, even when human flesh is eaten out of necessity. Okay. Huh. Right, interesting. Can we use the video screen, I wonder? Hey, ignore the newcomer. Gather the villagers at the altar tomorrow. To choose a sacrifice. I have spoken. 
So um there's demanding sacrifices. Yep. Okay. And we can't touch the bag. I can bit Okay. This might come up apparent if we get stronger, perhaps. Well, let's see here. Go up the ladder? Yeah, let's go up the ladder. Can we look at the ladder? Yeah. This is the only way up to the next row of caves. I can't climb up the ladder. My legs are too crippled. Ah, look. Look at the twine. Ah. Some of the twine around the baskets came loose. Use the twine. I can't shake any fruit loose from the baskets. Oh. I can't shake any fruit loose from the baskets. That's actually torturous in of itself when you actually are genuinely hungry and yeah. you can't fucking 